Kevinston and Joy Hopmeister are in green country today. Both are full steam ahead as we're just six days from the midterms and who will be Oklahoma's governor. News Channel 8's Jeff Morgan is tracking both campaigns for us. And Jeff, uh, you're getting ready to hear from the governor. What exactly are you seeing so far at his rally? Well, Brenna, right now we're seeing plenty of people make their way into the Renaissance Hotel here in South Tulsa ahead of that red wave rally for the governor. The governor is being joined by uh, several other prominent Oklahoma Republicans as he's set to speak tonight. He's This is the second time in as many days that he has brought in uh, people from out of the state to help him campaign for governor here uh, yesterday when he was in Oklahoma City. He spoke to potential voters uh, with Texas Senator Ted Cruz. As governor, I've put more money in education than any other governor before me. I'm going to continue that momentum. We're going to continue uh, infrastructure. Everybody wants the, uh, the best roads and bridges. We're going to uh, continue to um, improve health health care outcomes. Infrastructure, health care, and education are the big topics for both candidates today. This morning, we spoke with Joy Hoffmeister at two of her rallies. Both times, she mentioned education, health care, and infrastructure. She also called herself aggressively moderate, asking voters to meet her in the middle. We've got to get the vote out today and yes. the next day and the next day and then crush the ballots with engaged Oklahomans who care about the future of this state. Hoffmeister is in Bartlesville right now, then heads to Jenks at 7, a part of her hometown tour. And coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll bring you a live cut-in from inside the Renaissance Hotel during the governor's Red Wave Rally. Live in South Tulsa, Jeff Morgan, News Channel 8.